Felix, do you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. Very good. So I just made an introduction of you um, and, and <laughs> to um, to uh, the team about the great efforts that you and your team are, are doing on a daily basis to really make this a one of a kind uh, experience um, for the players, which in return will will make this to one of a kind experience for everyone involved uh, in the business on the token side and. Um, you know, one of the big questions that we get every every day, Felix, is how how are the how is the network really going to make money with Planet IX when it goes into the public market? And and we know that this is a lot of the things that we're going to hear from you today. So I think, Felix, that everyone here really don't want to hear anything I have to say. They want to hear what you have to say. And uh, we are recording this, and we 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 will be using this material to uh, help further people understand in future. Great. I think yeah, we are in an exciting time, uh, you know, especially with with the whole market uh, as a whole. I think we are in the in the in the eye of the storm, to, so to say. Uh, so, and there's there's plenty of ways how to benefit from this uh, kind of uh, explosion in the market, both in Planet IX and and elsewhere. But uh, in the essence, before I before I start, I'm going to take you through the. Presentation today, going up on some updates from Planet IX, but also uh, introducing to you some of the tokenomics aspects of of, of the game, and also uh, telling you more about the IX token. Uh, but the, we've seen a, a tremendous, you know, uh, boom in in the NFT uh, gaming space, and also in the NFT collector space, uh, and this will just continue growing. Uh, the biggest month we had just last month, so so this is on a steady rise. Uh, when it comes to Planet IX, uh, in this presentation, you will you will see some glimpses over what uh, a new transformation that the whole company and, and the whole game has has been taking. We are moving into a more uh, own style and, and introducing to you some no, new elements and also the um, you know our our, our story, and uh, this is uh, this is a um, introduction to Amelia, our, our our rogue AI, who is uh, you know who are your antagonist in the, in the game of Planet IX. She's really really mad. She wants all the users to come together and 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 try to make uh, build a better build a better planet of tomorrow. So this will come and introduce you by many of our game directors, uh, and you will see a lot more of the challenges uh, that uh, that you have to take on on Planet IX uh, to be performed in order to satisfy Emilia's needs. And uh, if you if you play this right, there are some great rewards to be to be to be carried out. Yeah, I'm just hearing from one person here that. Um, the screen is not totally visible. I see absolutely everything. Can we just get a few uh, messages? If we generally, everyone can see Felix's screen. This is very important. Let me just see. Somebody can just write in there that we're seeing it. Okay, I get a message from a lot of people here. We see all screen is fine. All very right. good. Thank you, Felix. You may continue. Yes. Okay. Uh, we also make some mechanical changes to uh, the the whole game and the grid. We made uh, a new map where it's more fluid, so you as users can can zoom in and zoom out uh, on a very neat level. And this is very useful for you uh, in order to to actually play the game and develop the territories. Uh, we made the game a lot more smaller because we made the actual picks bigger. Uh, so this is the, the new, uh, you know, new square count on how big the planet is. We, we we're taking away from 1.7 trillion and cutting it down to 1.7 billion. Uh, so this is uh, uh, just, just a, a short introduction uh, to, to the new map view where you can see uh, the light uh, on the map is where you have located your your own picks, and you can zoom in to get a more overview on on the specific NFTs that you own, and how you can then from there start to get bids 
on on the on the on the on the picks uh, you know uh, around you more easily. So it's a, it's a navigation system that is going to be more more fluid. This is just for for presentation uh, presentational view only. So it will look it will look slightly different uh, when we launch. But in the essence, the marketplace is the new interface and dashboard. This is where everybody, all our users, is going to navigate the game. And it's easy to understand that you have to start strategize of what is around you because you want to develop your own territories. This is the main reason and the main functionality of how you can start making a living and how you can start making rewards in Planet IX. Uh, we also make some design changes, moving away from, from the old into the new, meeting the meeting your new um, hero of the Planet IX story, Amelia. We will take you through that in, in, in you know, the, the coming months to come. There's going to be a lot of new challenges and glitches for the users to, to overcome together, collectively and individually. Um, and this is just an overview of how your, your, the different picks shall be developed in order to create a, you know, a reward or, or, a, or a productive asset and a productive NFT. So you can go from, uh, from one picks to an area, from an area to a sector and a sector to a zone until you can start developing a domain. And which e with each stages of these developments, there carries more and more rewards. And when you come to a zone, uh, you'll be able to uh, co-own a domain with others. So this is where we introduce you to our users uh, something called um, uh, decentralized, decentralized territories or ter territory uh, DAOs, so to say. Uh, we're going to talk about that later in this year because it's going to take a while for for the first users to to come to the zone. Uh, but this is uh, everything is now open in our white paper. Our white paper is available through our game book. This is where you can go through the whole mechanics and the whole tokenomics as well. Uh, we also see uh, the launch of our 800 landmarks. The landmarks is going to be different from from owner to owner dependent on how the, the, the rarity and, and, and uh, uh, the unique uh, functionality of them. This is a very, very plain NFT. It's not going to look like this because it's, it's uh, going to be added rarities, whether you are in a tier or whatever, what kind of terrain or classification your NFT belongs to. Uh, and we're also introducing uh, the, the landmark uh, stakes or shares, so to say. And the when you are uh, um, when you are trading in the marketplace, there is always a set fee uh, of five percent. If your picks are within a landmark area or control area, five percent of the transaction value will go directly to the landmark uh, commission contract. Dependent on how many. Uh, users that own a share in that landmark, it will be divided, a uh, payout will be divided to those uh, the coming month. If there's not a landmark on the picks uh, that you have, have traded in, in, in the marketplace, 2.5% goes back to the token holders and 2.5% goes to burn. So there's a deflationary uh, 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 design added as well. And our focus and what we have seen uh, the last three months, we only be live for three months, is that uh, we are taking a lot of interest uh, from users in, in Asia. So we will continue focusing on um, narrowing our, our communication with them, adding more staff, adding more uh, translators and, and content creators for Asia because over 60%, over, uh, 75% uh, is from Asia. So it's really, really fun. And uh, additional on that, I say that NFT games in general are really taking a hold in, NFT, uh, in, in Asia. So we see Axie Infinity with their play to earn model has, you know, um, taken a lot of over 400,000 users only in Indonesia. So we're trying to get a foothold there. We're trying to, um, you know, walk in their 
footsteps, so to speak, because they they they, they paved the way uh, for the market in in Asia to learn about these mechanics that the play to earn and NFTs can bring. Uh, so this month is uh, is uh, the coming month of November is when we are we are going live. The twenty second of November is where we push the contracts, and and with this comes uh, some some huge upgrades in terms both from the team and security and IT and everything, but also from you as users. This month is 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 our core focus on to onboard every user that we have, and how we onboard them is to introduce to all of our users the uh, needed infrastructural tools that are needed to be able to play the game. We are going to uh, move all assets, all picks is going to be generated as NFTs on the Polygon network. And this will, this will be, you know, the, the NFTs will be in, located in your Web3 wallets. We, are, we, are, we have created a lot of uh, uh, content and the tutorials for how to best set up these kind of structures, but we will have more and more talks and we will be active in Discord, making, making sure that all communities uh, from country to country understands what, what it needs to do, because the game will not function without the blockchain. And if you can't uh, interconnect with the blockchain, you cannot play the game. So this is very, very uh, important that everybody starts to understand what is MetaMask, what is Web3, how do I connect my wallet, how do I secure my wallet. But all of these content have been produced from us, and we will make sure that you get it uh, throughout the, 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 the month of November. Uh, so when we're launching the, the 22nd of, of November, uh, we are launching the marketplace and we are launching our own token, the IX token. Uh, and the coming months thereafter, we, you will see a lot of, lot of new features being uh, revealed and, and, and launched to, to the users of Planet IX, such as staking your tokens and the yield staking of your, of your actual picks. Uh, so there will be some different kind of mechanics added for the users to lever up and get higher rewards in, in the game functionality. On top of that, we are releasing the, the foundation, the, the green environmental foundation, uh, and, and our, our efforts and our work that, that Sabinia and all of the people uh, working towards that has been, is, has been fighting uh, towards. So it's, it's, it's going to be a really interesting a uh, new launch, and we are we are working around the clock to to get this uh, get this out. Um, so with uh, with our own uh, token, this will enable uh, a very decentralized uh, game to 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 be to be launched, and and you can see the the token as as the glue of Planet X. It's it's everything that holds. Uh, all the rewards, but it's also uh, the key, the key to being able to play, to be able to uh, to to buy into packs. It's also, uh, uh, you have to have it in order to trade in our marketplace. Everywhere in the Planet IX, you need to have the utility that the IX token provides. So uh, starting today, uh, we are introducing to you uh, to be part of the IX uh, race that we're doing. We're doing a liquidity event uh, to get uh, to get uh, some liquidity in order for us to launch. And you can go to uh, picks.foundation and and sign up uh, your interest to 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 be part of, of the token generation event. Uh, apart from that, every picks owner every Every user that has spent P euros on picks 
will be able to, to, to take part in one of the biggest ad drops in the crypto industry. We are already, uh, already onboarded over uh, 180,000 users that have been buying packs, and there's over 350,000 that's, that's waiting to take part in, in, the, in the coming drops of Planet IX. So we are really seeing people, uh, you know, marching forward to, to take part of the journey of, of Planet IX. And with this airdrop, you, in order to claim the, the tokens, you have to connect your wallet. You have to download a Web3 wallet and you have to connect it uh, through your uh, profile on Planet X through settings. And, and, and an airdrop is basically uh, a free giveaway of tokens as a token appreciation, you can say, uh, because you, as uh, all the players that have, we have, have been early in, have been learning, have been teaching us uh, have been showing us how we can benefit, how we can evolve uh, as a team and as a as a, as a game. Uh, and when we when we launch, we will uh, of course uh, host our own market making uh, on, on decentralized uh, exchanges, and this is why we're taking in some money. Uh, so. At, at launch date, we are around 400,000 users. Uh, we count, we are around 360,000 not right now. Uh, and and uh, the journey we take, uh, you know, we, we're starting at a, at a quite small market cap. And, and, and you know, as, as the utility and as the need uh, for, for our token grows, uh, the scarcity will be quite low from the beginning. So we're going to see... Uh, you know, airdrop being one of the biggest uh, positions in the in the circulating supply from the start. Uh, so this will this will create, I think, some FOMO in the market to get the hands on 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 the IX token, since it's this is that that all the players, the new players, will need in order to to take part of the game. So we have, you know, we've seen some huge successes of of, uh, of other games uh, this coming year, and we 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 really look up to uh, Axie Infinity, who's been who's been really handling the the play to earn model very well, and we have set aside uh, twenty one percent of our token issuance to play to earn model ourselves, starting in February twenty twenty. So it's a uh, it's uh, somewhere, uh, you know, a huge bet from our side that the users, uh, yourself, have, have a, a great way of onboarding new people, taking part of the, of the play to earn issuance uh, and, 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 and create yourself colonies of new users that can, that can, that can bring in a collective uh, reward chain. So we have some, so we have some good setups, but uh, in order for you to start making, um, you know, making others or creating a lot of um, colonies uh, of people under you, you have to really get into the game yourself. You have to start. You have you have to know how the game is played. So before we can release more affiliate programs and releasing the the play to earn mechanism, because all of those game features are are quite ready, uh, we are we need to have additionally month in order for our users to, to start understanding, okay, how does the game actually work? How should I trade? How should I position myself? Who should I make alliances with? And so forth. So um, it's uh, we need to take it step by step. We've built this game for years to come. Uh, so we also we also know that people are, or users are, are quite excited to get started. But, uh, but uh, we, we put some quite advanced mechanisms to this game. And um, we hope that you, you, you look forward to take part of, of the new release. So uh, with that said, um, on planetpix.foundation, you will get all the information that you need in order to take part of this, uh, uh, this token generation event. We are open until Wednesday next week. So it's, it's, it's early bird gets the worm here. Uh, we, we will not keep this, uh, this uh, race open one more day. We will close it on Wednesday at 3 p.m. CET. And from Pix... The you can prove I'll search the app store. Sorry, my bad, uh, Siri. Um, we, 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 um, from the Pix Foundation, you can reach the, the white paper and the game book uh, and, and see more about uh, the tokenomics 
uh, of, of Planet IX as well. Wow, Felix, thank you. You know, I've been um, I've been taking a few notes, and uh, there, there are some of the slides that I would like to. Um, yes, I know you need to show the disclaimer as well. <laughs> So we, we have the disclaimer and, um, you know, with, with everything you're telling me, let me just see if I can run through this with you and, uh, yeah. and see if I've understood this right. So the first thing I noticed is that the, the amount of picks are being reduced. Uh, so basically the, 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 the picks are getting bigger. And if I have the small picks, the picks from before, will my picks grow or will they stay small? Uh, they they will they will grow. Uh, we 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 take we taken away something that called that we early called clusters, and we made everything bigger. Uh, wow. So so I think yeah, I can show you uh, how it looked before. You see the upper side here. Yeah. This was this was one uh, uh, one rare or something before, and now this rare looks it's bigger. It's not uh, it's sizable comparison, but it's only one. It's not many picks anymore. It's just one. So from if so you, basically everyone got more, uh, more land, uh, yes. but yes, yes, more land. Uh, and and so so um, with this said, it means that when you're moving from one tier to another, the pick size grows with seven times. So what one one pick size uh, is in the legendary is three hundred and seven square meters. In the rare, it's seven times bigger. And then it comes seven times bigger than that, and then seven times bigger than that. So it it, it grows exponentially. So this will make this will make the game more fluid. It will make the game you can zoom in and out much easier. The old system where we have a uh, you know one point seven trillion picks, this made the game very very heavy, very very heavy because we have one hundred one point seven uh, trillion data points and and queries that we have to navigate in our databases. And even the best databases and the best uh, uh, team in the world, uh, this was still a problem. We have to you know, purchase so many servers and this makes more sense. The new system makes more, much more sense. It's actually the same concept that Uber is using when they're doing coordinates in their infrastructure. Cool, So, but, but for the player, this also means more action. As, as as we are we are quicker to engage with each other and 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 the, the platform is running smoother and 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 also for the value of the picks i imagine that that will um, it would be easier to um, mathematically increase the value of each of the picks is that correctly understood I mean the the value the value it's, it makes it more easy to play the game and when it, when when a when a game is easier to play um, you know people will rapidly develop their picks into territories so in a sense it it, it, it will increase the value but not not from the standard base point but but you know in in order to people to be addicted to a game or to be to the game to be, to have a you know, people coming back to the game it needs to work it can't be loaded it can't be heavy it needs to work and this is something we put so much time and effort and money on and we are really really proud now and it works very smoothly well this is a great testimony you didn't hear it when i introduced you i said you're very hard working and to you only the best is good enough and i know how hard you've been working to to improve this, and again, it's it's an improvement for the player, which is an improvement for every one of us. Now, um, when I um, when I look at the uh, the territories and the DAOs, the opportunity for for people to co-own uh, uh, multiple areas, and 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 um, that 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 technology really ensures that everyone involved is is safe so just because i connect up with other people i still have full control of what is mine correct yes so so this is this is uh this is all governed through through math and and to to pro programmable law basically so if you team up with somebody that has equal amounts uh, you have another zone and you have two zones together you now created a, a domain and 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 when the rewards are are, are about to be paid out to you uh, the, the 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 smart contracts uh, divides uh, pro rata to how many how many zones that you added to the collective domain. So this will not be you don't have to trust anyone. This is just you trusting the system. Very good, very good. Um, 
so uh, if we move a little bit uh, uh, further, you know, we we you said we're one hundred and eighty thousand already. Now there's another three hundred fifty waiting to get in. The size of of Planet IX, considering the the few months it's been on the market, uh, I think we saw a a clear comparison there. Where um, the slide just here, no. No, the thing here. Next Sorry, this yeah. one, yeah. I mean, when when I look at this slide, and and you look at the 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 you know the only two that are uh, bigger in 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 the player count, even before this has gone, you know, to the blockchain, uh, are uh, um, it are, are the two top ones, and 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 this I think speaks volumes because the amounts of players are are you know. The foundation of, of of creating value in the game is that correct? Definitely. I mean, uh, how the the crypto community and crypto investors look at things is they they want to see a broad distribution. Uh, they want to see a fair launch of, of the token. And I think you know the majority of the circulating supply of the token will go to the airdrop holders. Is 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 our users? And 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 uh, and the player count as well. Like, yes, we have three hundred eighty thousand registered members, uh, and we have one hundred eighty thousand who are purchase already purchasing uh, pack drops. So we're really trying to get the last two hundred thousand that are already in our platform to start purchasing and to receiving the airdrop. You really want to get the part of the airdrop uh, because the 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 ones to have the airdrops uh, will have a, a great. Uh, benefit when when we're launching the game. They are already in. They can already start trading. Uh, it, it it really speaks for itself. Yeah. So it, and, it, uh, and I sorry. Yes. Continue. I I know in the in the teams out there there are many people who have yet not yet activated their their the pick packs picks packs and um, and um, for that reason they may not understand everything what is going on and I think there's a great great responsibility in the organization to really reach out. To everyone who already has a, a a package and access to Planet IX, all they need to do is just activate their account. And and what I understand from you, they they need to connect the wallet. And even from doing that, without even really playing a lot, without even understanding a lot, I will participate in further airdrops. And 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 I think that that you know is like a bonus. It's like money you're not picking up if you're not registering. And and a great way for everyone to really you know get excitement back in your teams is to just have them do these exercises, and and you will see that the system will actually start working for everyone, even if they don't work. All they need to do is connect, and and once that happens, what's going to happen to them? Once I see something is happening, things are growing in value. Am I going to pay more or less attention? And I think these are one of the core messages to really. Get out there to everyone to say, hey, reach out to the person you know have this package. Reach out to them, even if you know that they're no longer active. Reach out to them simply because you know that they bought it at that time and, and they will have a good experience. They don't need to play. They, they just need to connect. They just need to register these things and value will start. Felix, there's another thing that I am... Um, um, you, you just, yeah, yeah. I think I just want to add yeah, yeah. That, that is that is really great, Jans, because this is this is actually true. I mean, the more player that that uh, you know uh, turn their their PROs or turn their inactive accounts into active and 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 connect their wallet, the more uh, it, impressive will the whole industry uh, look at this game, and you know it, it will actually benefit us all. So not even you know even if I. I am there and I get other people to connect. It, it will have an indirect impact on the value that I hold. Correct. So for everyone involved, not just for you looking, but for the people who have them, make sure to engage them, make sure to get that they get what they already acquired. Make sure that they are connected and, and, and utilize this opportunity of airdrops uh, uh, to really grow their appreciation and their value, um, and which in return will grow your appreciation and value. So I think it's a... It's um, it's an awesome concept. Now, I um, as you know, Felix, I I, I went to to have a full day in 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 your awesome office in, in in Stockholm, where we had a sit down, and and I had some sit down with with Felipe and and some of these guys developing the game, and and I'm not going to reveal too much, other than I did not sleep after. For those who think that this game is, you know, it's like, okay, now it started, that's the game, 
and it's like a board game. It's just what we see. You know, I can tell you it's far from it. And and when Felix says, you know, that the future of the game, I call it is live because it's not even decided yet. Uh, the reality is that the players who are playing the game will actually have an impact on what happens in the game, how the story develops, how the project goes. And, and, and if, you, if you begin to see that, and, and you have to understand, this comes from a guy who does not game. I'm not a gamer at all. But after I had a full day in those offices, I want to tell every one of you, Planet IX are light years ahead of what we are seeing right now. They will be light years ahead of what we are going to see on the 22nd, where it's going to be the first time we're really going to open the doors massively. And, and the cool thing is that it's, it's interactive. It's really something that allows the player to have an impact on the game, which makes it so, to me, innovative. And I really believe that it is, it is not just a game. It's educational. It will help me appreciate things about nature in a different way, but in a fun and interactive way. Is that correctly understood, Felix? Yes, it is. It is. We, uh, they, we've been, you know, I've been, I've been the boring guy for the last six months talking about the mechanics and, and the tokenomics and, and the foundation, but this needs to work. Uh, the last couple of months, we've we've gotten great new recruitments and game directors from from AAA title games who are now developing, you know, laying on top of all the mechanics mechanisms uh, mechanics uh, the the story, the story about Amelia, the story about our users and their you know their needs and what what needs to be changed in the world. And this is uh, this is this is simply amazing and. Uh, it's not only you. We had Jonas to visit us the other week as well, and uh, and his his smiles was uh, was uh, quite something else as well. And he's not a, a gamer either, so it it really we really I think we're onto something really great here. And and uh, uh, I will let uh, you know Philippe and Henrik and, and the guys who are the game directors tell more about that. You know, the coming days. Yeah, and and my only point with this is like it's just getting started. And Felix, I wanna um, I wanna I wanna end on, on on the note of of the opportunity to make money uh, uh, because uh, we we de- we are on a webinar here with a lot of entrepreneurs who are you know obviously asking so how does this tie in to me making money? Well, there's one way of making money with 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 the picks and 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 the consequences of the picks that we can you know collect into landmarks and, and whatnot. That part will, obviously, once it's exposed to the world outside of Crowd1, will grow in traction. It will run faster. We learned that the picks are getting bigger, which means more action, more interaction, which means more attractivity, which means more value creation. But that's on the picks part. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to maybe overstep my boundary here, but, but I'm going to refer a little bit to the one-on-one conversation we had back in um, in Dubai when we were talking about also the tokens. Uh, because I think this is, is so important that people really know it. Uh, like you said, I'm not a salesman. I don't want to sell this to anyone. But, um, but what you actually said to me at that time is, Jens, I would feel wrong if I didn't offer the opportunity for those who have helped the company to grow to where it is today to come in at this early stage. And, and, uh, and I want to let every one of you out there know that Felix is all in on that. He's really saying you guys are getting the opportunity to, to participate. You're getting the opportunity to grow with the company. And if we can go just back to the, to the slide again, where, where we see the amount of users uh, um, compared to other businesses that are out there, this one, yeah, it speaks in my world, it speaks volumes. Because we're already at, at, at the time of launch, we'll be 400,000 people connected to the game. And, and if you look from an outside standpoint and you look in, where would you see the biggest potential? Would you see that with those who have less users, have been on the market for a long time, and now this new player comes in with this huge amount of, of, of players already before really going into a public market? They are going to witness the power of Crowd1. And, and so what will happen? What will subsequently happen 
to the evaluation of, of, of the token. Now, I know, Felix, also, you could raise those tokens, those funds, anywhere you wanted to in, 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 in your area of, of business. And, and so uh, do not forget this, guys. Many of you have asked, how can we participate? How can we participate? The tokens is another way to participate on the overall growth. You don't even need to play the game, but you need to understand the, the tokenomic aspect. And, and, and I'm going to step one more time over the line here by telling you that Felix is himself all in on the tokens. I mean, Felix, you are heavily involved in the token part. And you said, I'd rather want tokens than I want money because you, you understand where this is going. And I think that's maybe uh, at this time, one of the most important things to understand. It's not so important to understand after Wednesday, three o'clock CET, because then the window will shut down. Then you can start appreciate it again when it goes to market. But then you will deal with a different price setting because you will deal with the supply and demand issue. And, and, and we feel comfortable that, that the, the, the growth in the token will have been uh, um, pretty, pretty decent up until that time. And I think without even saying a price, without saying a number, look at these numbers you have ahead of you. These are numbers from companies that have already gone there. These are facts taken out of real life. These are real prices. What you see below in the red box, the Planet IX, that is what is to come. And that is the stage you're at right now, but it is a one-off and it does end. So if you want in and if you want your team to be excited about that, make sure you go to the pix.foundation. Can we get the address up so we're just sure that everyone yes. gets it? You go to the PIX Foundation and you make sure you register. But you also make sure that you make your placement of, of, of a BDC before uh, uh, 3 o'clock CET uh, uh, on, on this upcoming Wednesday. Before. You need to do it before. And uh, and, and just to make sure that, that you have everything. Felix, I've, I've gotten a lot of messages in here from people who are tremendously excited about your presentation. Uh, I want to thank you for... for taking the time to to come and talk to all of us um yeah i mean on, uh, just an ending note. thank you uh thank you again Jans. Uh, pleasure to talk to you again i mean yes uh just to add we are i am heavily invested in this uh uh skin in the game and it's all in the tokenomics for everybody to see uh the whole team is vested for four four years so there's uh you know we we really want to see this going for a long time uh, this is not nothing that uh, that will end tomorrow, and we are growing quickly. There's there's two three people joining us every second week here at the office. Uh, we're starting it's starting to get quite uh, small now, even though it's quite big this office. So we we are we are we are in it for the long run. Uh, with that said, uh, it is true also what you said, Jans. This this uh, this race uh, could be done with, with a couple of phone calls from my end. But this needs to go out to our early users. It needs to go out to them who supported us, who built this company, uh, because we couldn't do it without the, our first users. The amount of feedback, the amount of, 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 of you know, transparency that our users have given us in order to make the game better, to understand you know, how, we can, how we can improve it, it's just, it's just been, you know, uh, it's meant all for us. We haven't, we haven't really succeeded without you. And and this is this is our way of of saying it's going to be a, it's going to be a demand of the token when we launch. Nobody in the crypto space even know that we exist. We have created this created this for you. We have created this in order for to grow with you. So when we are launching, the people who are going to look at the numbers and they're going to see, oh my God, what where have this been doing? They have been building in stealth. So there's going to be a huge demand in order to in order to participate in in the game in order also for to speculate at the token they they need to they need to buy uh, the tokens and and there's not a single crypto fund uh, that have our tokens all our tokens is to the planet ix beta users and to the early investors that now we are now opening up for uh, the last round uh, until Wednesday so yes we're, we're super excited well, we are, we're many people who are tremendously excited about this, and uh, and we're very happy that you are you're guiding us step by step. You said you were boring. You're anything but boring. You uh, 
you've been uh, you've been instrumental to 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 so many of us in in, in understanding and appreciating this. Um, I know you always uh, give a lot of praise to your teams and the people around you. You surround yourself with some true experts, and uh, and I think that's what makes this uh, this company. Uh, so awesome and uh, we really want to thank you for taking the time here today and uh, uh, we're looking forward to to be able to welcoming you back we're looking forward to hearing more uh, um, about planet ix and we're certainly looking forward to the 22nd of november in dubai where you will be as well with us as we are uh, uh, um, you know taking a look at what's next for crowd one and we're taking a look at uh, at what's next for for planet ix Yes, that will be excited. We also have some surprises for you, for the people who are there. So that's going to be fun. Uh, thank you, Jens. It's been a pleasure. And uh, if you have a lot of questions regarding the tokenomics, if you have any you know, follow-up questions, uh, please reach out on Discord. I, I will be more present there the coming week in order to, to help and satisfy uh, you know, the questions that arises. So thank you all for, for letting me be, be here today. Thank you. And I hope you all heard that. They got special surprises for those who are actually attending. So with that said, thank you, everyone. We wish you a wonderful weekend and a continued blessed Saturday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.